All right, it's been a whole week and you need to stock up for 4th of July because we've got 10 people at the house this week. Hey, what you doing? Can you be patient? Show me patient like a circle. Come on now, we can't be like that. Juliana, you can have the other one. Hold it, hold it, two hands please. Go, okay. So yeah, today we're shopping for 10 people. So obviously five girls, me and Judy, that's seven. Plus we've got some family coming over, Chris, his wife, and his kid. So we've got 10 people in the house. It's been a week since I've been here. Got to load up on a whole bunch of stuff. And you already know the hack. Getting through a really busy Costco, go down the side aisle, then you, uh bypass all the temptations of the special featured items in the sales. Hey, how are those chicken baits, girls? Good. They're really good? Yeah. Juliana, how's yours? Okay, I don't know if this is a sign of 4th of July or not. Literally, rows and rows and rows of watermelons that they're stocking up on. $6.99 for these giant honkers. Whenever I can, I try to get organic melons. It's one of those fruits that I try to, whenever possible, to get organic. Okay, we're loading up on a whole bunch. I'm gonna get this big bag of carrots because we always go through that. Juicing, curries, stir fries, whatever. I'm gonna reach over, grab uh, this thing of bananas. These ones caught my eyes, obviously. Snacks, smoothies, banana bread. Taking a little break. All right, so these organic cherries have been awesome lately. I wanna say probably the best price around. $7.99 for this whole thing. Cherries can get super expensive, even though they are grown here in Washington. Okay, interesting. The sign doesn't say it, but these are all organic watermelons. Definitely gonna get two of these. Nothing like having a ice cold watermelon on 4th of July. There we go. Let me uh, look at mommy's list. Okay, mommy wants avocados. We got the watermelon, oh, onions, and broccoli. Let's go. Girls, get ready for the cold. We've been pounding through these broccoli packs. Yeah, you like the broccoli? Yeah, yeah we just roast these with a little garlic olive oil, yeah. salt and pepper. It's so healthy mm -hmm. for you. Yes, it's so healthy for you, that's right. These ones look good right here. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a lot of fruit so far. Put them right there. My suggestion, roast your vegetables. Garlic, I olive know, oil, salt and pepper. Like, literally, mince up some garlic, put in olive oil, let it sit for about a day. It's gonna flavor your vegetables and then you roast it in the oven get a little bit charred it's all flavor people love it Julie loves her avocado toast these girls do too juliana do you like avocado toast i know get a bag of these as well you too jeez avocado toast who would have ever thought growing up in california avocados were just kind of becoming a thing in the early 90s but now it's all Daddy, over the world, I feel like. Fourth of July week, no. always crazy in Costco. Getting too big, Daddy. Getting too big for what? Yeah, for the seat. For that seat? Yeah. Oh, you might have to walk around. Yeah, All right, one. this has been a must buy for us because how many do you get? You get 12 croissants for six bucks, 50 cents per croissant compared to literally five bucks at a fancy bakery. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Daddy. These are good croissants, but they're not nearly Daddy. as good as a French bakery. Yeah, Choo Choo Bakery is our favorite. It's in Everett. Daddy. But when you gotta feed 10 people, Daddy. you go to Costco. Get muffins. You wanna get muffins? Please get I think we should get some Yay. muffins just for this one time, okay? okay? You never say yes. I know, I never say yes. We try to minimize the sugar they intake. We're gonna get the blueberry ones. Six. Legit muffins for how much? <laughs> so two packs for 10 bucks. Go ahead, get the poppy ones, Juliana. Okay. Juliana's so happy right now. These are my favorite muffins. There you go. Really hate some of these Special muffins. treat. So as I mentioned, we have some guests coming over. So, so trying to plan out the whole week so I don't have to come back here, especially closer to 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So cooking a lot this week. I'm also gonna be grilling a lot, but before I grill, I want to make uh, another bone broth. So I'm gonna buy this. This is called beef plate short ribs. These are great. There's some bones in there. 30 bucks for this pack. That's kind of expensive. But those bones, that's what I want. There's a lot of flavor in this. Look at that. I've never really looked into the butcher area. Oh yeah, they're packing it right there. It's a packing machine. That's cool. And it goes down the conveyor belt. Okay, is it my lucky day or what? Look, there's only one pack of this oxtail. 
So just recently I went to Business Costco with Juliana and I was saying that if you want oxtail, you gotta go to the Business Costco. They always have it, but sometimes you get surprised. This is literally the only package of oxtail, which is great for pho, of course, but I'm just gonna make a beef broth, so 60 bucks. It's gonna make a lot of beef broth. So uh, last week when I was still home, I made Korean dinner and someone suggested on there that I buy my own short ribs, marinate them, and instead of using sugar, use fruit. So that would be cool. Maybe some applesauce. 60 bucks for this three pack. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I feel like I should get it anyways, just to grow these up. There we go. Lots of meat. You already know it's gonna be super expensive. I always say, whenever I purchase meat, you go into two or three hundreds. If I don't purchase meat, easily can be a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. Cause right there alone, I think that's 120 bucks. Just that protein down there. All right, so I just found a deal. The same USDA choice, short ribs, only 9.49. I just bought these short ribs down here in this little pack. And they're more expensive than these. What's the difference? These are off the plate. These are off of the chuck. So is this gonna be more tender? Uh, no. So this is better? I would go with this one. Okay, I'm gonna go with yeah. this one. Thank you very much. A little much. bit thicker, a little bit better. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank you, Costco guy. Thank you. This is way better deal. These look amazing. I'm gonna get this big old pack right there. Save me 20 bucks. There we go. I love that these guys know what they're doing and they're passionate about it. People that work at Costco are just so friendly. So I just asked the guy if those ribeye, the USDA Prime at $19.99 is sell price. And he said, no, it's normal price, but I think a better deal are these New Yorks. Definitely a better deal, $16.99. And I guess it's all preference, but I feel that New Yorks are just better. There's good enough marbling on here. Got that fat on the side. Cook it right as good as any steak restaurant. Okay, I think that's enough meat. Let's check the list. Oh, we need to get bacon, Italian ground sausage. Oh, and chicken thighs, can't forget that. This girl wants to show you her chicken bake. As always, get this triple pack. Hey, the good thing about chicken thighs, always so much more flavorful. A little tip here, try to get the one where um, the air hasn't got sucked in because that means there, there's a hole in there sometimes that happens and then it's not gonna last as long. So 33 bucks for this triple pack. What is this? It says it's six pounds. I wonder if it's a total of six pounds. Yeah, feels pretty heavy. It's a good deal. Normally what we'll do is we'll use one of these and then freeze the other two. All right, so something else I am gonna get though is this. I'm gonna get a two pack of this organic young chicken. Okay, so $15 each. That is a hell of a good deal for legit high quality organic chicken. I'm gonna break it down because Judy is gonna make auto scaldo with this, which is gonna be amazing. So go ahead and get these too. I mentioned that was the last of my protein. I lied. I was fibbing. That whole section is just protein. That's gonna be expensive. So this is just like the ground stuff, except it comes in a casing. You just cut into this and it's just like ground sausage. This is what I prefer. I don't like and that. Well, this is gonna be for spaghetti sauce. That whole pack is 10 bucks. That's a good deal. Okay, so this is very random in this meat section for whatever reason. You just got a whole bunch of sushi here, which looks pretty good. Ooh, that one looks really good. The spicy tuna in there. Might have to get that for lunch. That looks hella good. Do they already have Halloween? Yeah, I know. No way. Halloween already? Okay, this is a little bit too early. Why would they sell this so early? But hey, this is actually kind of cool. Like a Disney themed haunted house for Halloween decorations. Girls, should we get that for our house? No. What do you think? No. Okay. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, creepy skeleton. Costco sized squishmallows. Wow, more watermelons. I think I've counted about almost 20 boxes of watermelons. Judy also did ask for wine. So we're gonna go ahead and stock up on a few essentials. And you already know, one of them being my favorite, their champagne, always 20 bucks. Probably one of the best buys in terms of wine, my opinion. When did you get sushi? Oh, earlier. Get a couple bottles of this. Nice to have this on a hot summer day, ice cold. There we go. Boxed wine, Pinot Grigio, four bottles. 14 bucks, a little more than $3 per bottle. All right, so very random. In the middle of the booze and the produce is this stand-up desk. 
But it's a good deal. Look at this. 249 bucks. Stand-up decks are really expensive. It's for a hotel. What's that? It's for a hotel. It's for a hotel? Yeah. I don't think so, but uh, you yeah, know what? You could, you could just, totally have it in a hotel. You could use the one in the garage, or you could just buy me this one. Oh, yeah. You like stand-up desks? Would you like one? It's a hotel. It's a little yeah. bit big, though. It's a little bit big. Would, oh, no, it would. looks like a hotel. I know. No, I would because like uh, my chair. Even I could also use my chair because my chair could get taller. And... So um, she's saying it looks like a hotel because the picture shows a very nice living room. Sorry, mommy and daddy's living room is very basic. Mm. Mommy does a great job decorating it, but it's kind of old. Mm. There's nothing new in it, and oh, we're not really oh, trying my to make desk, it look super desk, nice. Like, it was, like, not it's like, a very normal house. The desk I have right now it was like. Shout out to the normal house people. I'm going to the dairy section, which is really cold. <laughs> so cold. Okay. As always, a whole box of milk. Never thought I'd be buying a whole box of milk literally every single week, ever. You okay, oh, Bella? No, I'm not cold. Are you cold, Bella? Oh, no, she's yet. cold. <laughs> she's trying to play it off, but she's cold. What? You want to go? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I was told that there was a recall on Kerrygold butter, which is really sad because I bought a ton of butter from Kerrygold. There was something about the Kerrygold that was, something was wrong with it. And maybe that's why it was on sale because it wasn't very popular. Let me know in the comments what you heard about Kerrygold because um, maybe I shouldn't buy it. But we love Kerrygold. I know, Kerrygold's the best. Daddy just got to check his list, okay? Milk, got the milk. Oh, applesauce, more applesauce. We just need to buy big jars of it. Mac and cheese, ran out of mac and cheese. We got another kiddo coming, so definitely wanna have mac and cheese ready. Okay, and then sliced bread. I think we're good after that. Oh, and bacon, my God. Got a whole meat department down there. Okay, let's go. Okay, mac and cheese and applesauce. Right now, our favorite bacon, it's a Kirkland signature. You get four packs, each one of them are a pound, so four pounds of bacon, which is quite a lot. Killing it with the prices. It's a lot of meat right there. So I tried this once. This is called Olipop, and I believe it's a probiotic filled soda. Supposedly it's good for you. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Is it worth the buy? If you see this at your guys' Costco, definitely try this. It's called Beecher's Mac and Cheese. It said the world's best, it's pretty good. This is what they have at Pike Place Market and they just froze it. So, so as it's getting really hot, I like to say hydrated. Now water does it, but this coconut water, I'm telling you, it's so healthy. One of the most underrated liquids. Whenever I'm in tropical areas, I always drink this because it's really cheap. Coconut is like a weed. But if you buy this at Costco, 11 bucks for six bottles, which I know sounds like a lot, but it's way more expensive if you buy it. Whole Foods. Many naked we're not really big fans of naked. I am. Oh, you like it? Oh. Well, I'll just make it at home. I, I look at yeah, the Yeah, we can just make it. I made it at home and mine's better. Yeah, yours is way better. For the ginger lovers, they got this ginger love cold pressed ginger lemonade. We do love this Suja brand. Usually we buy their green juice, which by the way, I don't see anymore. It's always interesting when you notice there's a product that you used to buy that they don't sell anymore. I wonder who's on that department, who's on that team, and how do they determine it? Is it just purely off of a... Oh my gosh. Girls, do you like string cheese? You like string cheese? Okay, remember I told you about Beechers? I've never seen this. We're definitely going to have to get this. This is a very healthy snack. Beecher Street and Cheese, 15 bucks. Yeah. You guys are begging for popsicles and other ice creams, but when it comes to ice cream, I don't like to buy too much. Just finish what you got because, hey, ice cream gets bad if you leave it in the freezer. You know, we've got ice cream at home. Reese's popcorn. I bet you that is bomb. I'm not a big fan of Reese's, but this during a movie night mixed with some homemade buttered popcorn, that, that the warmth of the buttered popcorn with this, hey! Back in the day, I used to do a lot of barbecue, which I know it's not real barbecue, but I would grill up chicken and sweet baby rays. This is a sauce that I would get. The good old days when it was just me. Okay, you guys want that? Here, you guys can no, have those. I know what that. It's cheese. Oh yeah, definitely get applesauce. You can have cheese. Thank you. Here, here, put this down though. Are you a ballerina? Here. Do you want cheese and cracker? No. 
Do you want a cheese and cracker? I'm good. Dad. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. Dad. Okay, thank you very much. I think we have these at home. Yeah, we do. Somebody bought some. There you go. Thank you very much. These are really good. Classic Kraft oh, mac and cheese. Get that one. We always get the Annie's or chocolate. the other one. There's one that's a high protein one, but should I we think, get this? I think we have like two. the bottles. Two of them. Because I like that. Okay, all right. $17.50 for all this, so we'll just get one pack. Look at this cart. Crazy. So Judy was asking me recently. She saw the Spam and the uh, Vienna sausage in my business Costco video. If they have corned beef, and let me tell you, I've never seen it, but today, honey, look what I found. Not only did corn I find beef. corned beef, our favorite brand. Oh, my nails are That's a good buy. Six of these cans, 31 bucks. What are the chances of that? And they got plenty of Spam too here. Mommy's gonna be very, very happy with that. Probably coincidence, but it seems that they're reading our minds. Because Judy and I were just talking about it. We've been making more corned beef lately. Never, never, ever. Just pass it. Just pass it. Oh, by the way, I bought this Portland ketchup. Please try it if you find it at your Costco. It's a local brand. Everyone gets Heinz ketchup because obviously we all kind of grew up with that. But trust me, that stuff, it's on a whole different level flavor-wise. Did you girls say thank you? Yeah. You did? Is it good? Yeah. Uh-huh. This is a fancy extra virgin olive oil. First cold pressed. La Española. Oh, product of Spain. Huh, look at that. They're getting so fancy here. I just bought olive oil, so I'm not gonna buy it, but I totally wouldn't buy that just to try it. Like a finishing oil. Organic ghee? I don't think it was organic. Look, in Kirkland Signature too. In a glass jar. So basically this is like a, a, a preserved clarified butter. They boil it to the point where it's shelf stable forever. The last thing is sliced bread. Oh yeah, and smoothie, right. While Juliana is um, visiting the facilities, we'll get smoothie. What you want me to tell him? You just going in the bathroom. That you're gonna go take a poop? I really appreciate you helping me. While you're holding your yogurt snacks, you're pushing, impressive. Do you want thin sliced or regular th sliced? Regular. Okay. So today we're gonna get this one. The 21 whole grain Dave's killer bread, especially with the kids going on hikes, going to camp. It's nice that they can make their own sandwiches. What? Oh, those samples? Okay. The snap is for reals. She ended up getting the thinly sliced one. This is uh, sprouted grains. Supposedly it's way better for you, so I'll take it. Hey, we're all done, girls. Let's go check out. Yeah, we're gonna get smoothie too. Mac and cheese, broccoli, applesauce, milk, white wine, Italian ground sausage, watermelon. You don't like this? Then daddy's gonna eat it, okay? Chicken thighs, sliced cheese. Daddy forgot to slice cheese. I think we'll be okay. I don't really wanna go back. All right, we got a full cart today. This is super packed. This might be the most food I've bought ever. We'll see what the bill is. That sushi does look good. Listen for the number 98, okay? I always try the sushi in the car before I get home because you want to eat it fresh. And I will tell you, the sushi is bomb. Really good. Mm. I heard this thing because I watched this guy's video that they're adding sushi departments. I think where they do the, the prepared foods. And they're going to be doing all kinds of sushi. Nigiris, which are the fish on the t piece of rice. Rolls, everything. Maybe this is what this is. Gonna have full selection now. Wait, wait, time out. Because before, I think they made these off site, but now they're gonna make them on site. Mmm. It's spicy tuna one. Highly suggest. Do you see this? He's on top of me. Get it. No. Spicy tuna. Speaking of snacks. Girls got a smoothie. So we did get these berry smoothies, which I berry, didn't know. Acai. I think there's three to four different kinds of berries. Asahi, strawberry, mm -hmm. blueberry, blackberry. maybe blackberry. Mm -hmm. And there's no added sweeteners. I thought for sure there was some it's added so sugars. It's so sweet though. It is sweet because berries are really sweet naturally. Is it delicious? Yeah. Yes. Who are you gonna share with? Mommy. Mommy, okay, nice. Was it worth the wait? The total bill no, today? Not. Four hundred and ninety-one dollars. Yeah. I need gas. Yeah. Not really, but good looking out. Yeah. So 
Like, That'll we, feed us we really for the next. We're full. We're, we have full gas. Week at least, at least if not more. We got ten people divided by ten. Fifty bucks per person for a whole week's worth of food, plus some extras because we got some fancy steaks. It is the Fourth of July. If you're watching this and this is uploaded by the fourth, Happy Independence Day. Love this country. Love the America. people in it. I love what we stand for, and I love food. So hopefully you guys, yes, I love bald eagles too. Hopefully you guys are eating something delicious. Happy 4th of July. Stay safe. Have fun. See you yeah. later.